Hey Comic Car fans, this is Dave, also known as Jade Giant. I'm here to do a weekly flip for Bill for Comic Art fans. And I thought I would do the uh, portfolio that I've got all my Bob Larkin homage pieces in. Um, somebody suggested it, so I thought it was a good idea, and so here we go. Um, what you're looking at now is a G Clay that was done a few years back, probably more than a few at this point, uh, signed by Stan Lee down there. Uh, this was done as a exact representation of the original, a recreation, I guess. Um, so I picked it up because I won't probably have the original, uh, but it looks really good. It's on canvas. Uh, looks great on the wall. Um, but that is the inspiration for this commission series that I have done. I have artists that I really appreciate their style. Give it a shot to do their... Uh, their take on this poster and uh, do it in their style while remaining somewhat faithful to the original image, the eyes, the clenched teeth, the fist, uh, etc. So let's take a look. First up is the uh, Scotty Young. This was done in 2012 at Heroes Con. I make it a point to try to get something at Heroes for this collection. Um, it's a connection that's pretty strong. And that either means done at Heroes, um, sometimes it means set up and picked up at Heroes. Um, this one was actually done at Heroes. I was able to talk Scotty into doing um, more than he normally does. I think I might have paid double or upcharged or something along those lines. But I had been chasing Scotty for years. So this was a thrill when he agreed to do this in 2012. This is one of the earlier ones I got done. Oh, better shot there without the uh, without the film on it. You can see some of that crazy, crazy Scotty detail that he's so well known for. Next up, we have Tim Sale and Michael Golden. Uh, Tim Sale was another Heroes Con piece. Um, I did a double fast pass, and he did half of it and put me back in the queue and did the second half. I have some video of this um, captured of him doing this work, which blew me away. Um, thought he had ruined it a couple times when he was smearing ink around and that wash effect, but it came out beautiful. It's one of my favorites. This one was 2013. And then Michael Golden, it was relatively easy to get. He was all into the idea. Um, did it, I would say, 2015-ish. I don't think this one's dated. Um, but yeah, I think it was around that time. Two of my favorite artists, Ed McGinnis and Paul Pelletier. Um, these were done in the um, 2012 on the Ed and 2016 by Paul. And the, the one by Ed is, actually has Dexter Vines inks. Um, they were great guys to commission. We did this offline and did a Heroes Con pickup the first year I did Heroes. Um, also won a piece by them at the auction that year. Um, great experience, great experience. Paul Pelletier, um, pencils with Rick Magyar inks. Both great guys, both great to work with. Um, really loved how this one came out. Just loved the details on both of these. And then we got McCone and Rainey. Um, I got these done around the time, 15, 16, when they always seem to be together um, side by side at a couple tables at shows. So I thought it fitting to put them in the book together. Um, but Rainey, great details on that. Love the shadowing effect there. Big fist. And then um, Rainey here, also another great piece. I, Rainey actually did this one at Cincinnati. And McCone did this at a, I did it at home and brought it to a show, I believe. Oh, these are some classics. Sabi Sema and Herb Trimpey. What would the uh, Hulk character be without these two? So these were musts. Um, fortunately, I was able to get Herb before he passed. Um, and he ended up using this as a print and sold it for a while. Sal, uh, this is my first commission from Sal. And Sal's my favorite artist, so this one means quite a bit. Um, these are just two of my favorite pieces in the collection. And the one that started it all, David Finch. Uh, I got this in 2010 at the last Mid-Ohio show before Wizard bought it. I was quite bummed out by that. 
And then a few years later, at another Ohio show, a more local show, I had Jonathan Glappy on Ink It. Um, so I'm really thrilled to how that came out. And I just kind of, the idea came to me standing in line. And um, David was all into the idea, and 30-some pieces later, we're still going. This one is John Baran and Jeremy Freeman, all on the same board. Um, John works for Riot Games. He's does more game design artwork these days, um, but he has done some Marvel stuff in the past. Good friend. Really enjoy his art. How can you not know Chris Yuminga? And then obviously another Hulk fan favorite, Carlo Paglion. Um, most of these are in black and white, and that was intentional to kind of contrast to the original color, but I couldn't get um, Chris to do one without doing his signature um, color work. So there's a few in here that have color, not too many. And this um, also has Jeff De Los Santos um, inks. Um, got this through Kirk over at um, his uh, dealer. Eric Larson and Phil Hester. Um, we got the Larson was a Heroes Con. He actually did it at the table. I watched him do it. He works really fast. Um, I'd kind of approached him with the idea beforehand, and he said he'd do it. So I was really happy to get him in the book. Phil Hester was a free comic book day pickup. He's local to me. Well, somewhat local. Local enough that he came to free comic book day in my area, so I was happy to get this one. Dave Akins and Joe Jesco. Dave Akins is another guy who's local to me. And if you haven't seen Dave Akins work um, with realistic interpretations of um, actors, uh, you're missing out. He's really good. And then Joe Jesco. This was a Fan Expo um, Canada pickup in 2017. Um, just love it. He's a really good friend of Bob Larkin, so he was pretty excited to do this project, I think. Kevin Nolan and Dale Keown. Kevin Nolan um, was a uh, lottery, a commission lottery at Heroes a few years back. And um, I was lucky to be one of the names drawn and get this done. And this is the one that probably gets the most attention, most comments, the most uh, drool. This was a Fan Expo 2017 commission that Dale decided to bring home, which to my benefit ended up turning out to be Cover quality, if not better. Uh, I don't know if there can be better than cover quality, but it's unbelievable, the detail. It's hard, even hard to pick it up with this. But, um, yeah, this is a, a cornerstone piece in my collection for sure. And then we got here on the left is uh, Dave Guerton from Creature Box. Um, not too many folks know him because they, they don't do too much work um, in the mainstream, but they do a lot of game design. And um, Ratchet and Clank is probably their claim to fame. But he did that for me about two, three years ago. And then this one's pretty cool. This is Justin Mason, who um, this was given to me as a birthday gift by a good friend, fellow Hulk collector, TC. Um, thanks, TC. Really appreciate it. Love the detail in there. And I love that, that snaggle tooth right there. That's a great, great effect on that. We got Aaron Lepresti and Stuart Sager. Uh, Aaron was a guy that um, I've talked to a lot over the years buying Planet Hulk art and just chatting in general and set this up a couple years ago. Thrilled with how it came out. Stuart Sager is a guy that's in the Midwest and he's at a lot of shows I am so I tracked him down to the show where he had some time and he did this for me at a local Ohio show. Really love the uh, effects on this. Love Stuart's work. Here we've got a couple really unique pieces. Um, the uh, the one on the left there is Peter Smith from Crimson Fable Studios with Bob Allman inks. Um, kind of an animated take on the character. Um, saw some stuff in his portfolio at Heroes and decided to have him do it, and he was happy to. Uh, this is Art, Art Balazar from All Yeah Comics. Um, did a commission with him, and uh, or actually I bought a commission off of eBay and said, hey, would you would you be willing to include this in the package? And he did it for a, for a fee and. Really happy with how that came out. Such a unique style on that. A couple more here. We got Elliot Fernandez. Um, got this as part of a Doom Kicker Indiegogo uh, reward level uh, tier, and um, got that a couple years ago. Can't wait for that book to come out. Um, we got Andrea DeVito, which um, he was really thrilled. Big fan of Larkin and the original piece, um, so he was really thrilled when uh, I asked him to do this one. Looks like that one's creeping out a little bit. 
push that back in. Jerry Taliak, another color piece. Um, had to get paints from Jerry because you know, that's what he was doing. I, I just wanted to see it. It's kind of hard to see the uh, the paint effects, but if you look really closely, um, really cool, really really amazing. Really thrilled with this one. Jerry, if you hit him up on Facebook, he's still doing commissions, as far as I understand. This one's Andrew and and I'm sorry, I missed that one. Up. Alessandro Michelli did this in 2021 for me. I've got a few pieces from him. Love working with him. Love his style. And the last two in the book. Um, the one on the left there was a Christmas exchange, Secret Santa, that I won um, by Brett Weldley. Hopefully I didn't pronounce that wrong. And then the last one is uh, the most recent pickup from Heroes Con this year. And it is done by Jim Rugg, who I really liked his work on the New Hulk book that he put out this year. So I had to get him in the book as well. I think that might be it. Oh, actually I caught a couple by my son. Um, a couple years ago, he likes to draw a hero, so he did a couple for me. Um, I told him, you got to do me a full size at one point, so I'm, I'm hoping that comes down the road. And I think that's it. Thanks for listening and watching, and uh, thanks to Bill for putting everything he does on this great channel.